For your unit four review, these are the two questions we weren't able to get to. Number seven says a grocery bag holding 15 kilograms of groceries is being lifted from a checkout counter that has an acceleration of 6.0 meters per second squared. What's the force that the bag is lifting the groceries with? All right, so we start with a free body diagram and we have two forces that are acting on this. We got a, a force of gravity down and we have a force one, the, the applied force upward. Uh, we also have an acceleration that is six meters per second squared upward. All right, so we're accelerating this upward. What's gonna be that upward force? So we start with Newton's second law net force in the y direction we're just talking in the vertical direction is going to be equal to mass times acceleration now with the only only those two forces we got uh, the force one which is going to be positive force of gravity which is going to be negative and you get uh, force one minus the force of gravity is going to be equal to mass times acceleration all right now force of gravity equals mass times 9.8 so 15 times 9.8 is going to give me give me that force of gravity mass times acceleration 15 times 6 that's going to give me the net force on the right hand side so force one that applies force minus 147 is going to be equal to 90 so we add 147 to the other side we get a total force uh, upward of 237 newtons and number nine, it says a 1.4 kilogram block slides across a rough horizontal surface such that it slows down the acceleration of 1.25 meters per second squared. What is the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the surface? Okay, so first of all, to find the coefficient of friction, I need to know two things. I need to know the amount of force of friction. I also need to know the normal force. So let's start with our free body diagram. The the forces that we have, we got the uh, normal force upward, the force of gravity downward, and we have a force of friction that's slowing it down. But notice in the problem, it doesn't say anything about anything pushing it forward or pulling it. So there's no applied force forward. We only have the force of friction backwards. All right, so uh, first thing we're gonna do is find the normal force. So we're gonna use the net force in the y direction. We know the acceleration is gonna be horizontal, so there's no vertical acceleration. All right, so that means the normal force up minus the force of gravity down is gonna be equal to zero. So we go ahead and figure out that force of gravity gravity, which is the mass, which is 1.4 times 9.8. That gives us 13.72 newtons. So the normal force is also going to be equal to 13.72 newtons. Again, since there's no acceleration in the vertical direction, those two forces have to be balancing each other. And the net force in the x direction is going to be equal to mass times acceleration. The only force in the x direction is the force of friction, and it's in the negative direction. So negative force of friction is going to be equal to mass times acceleration. The mass is given to be 1.4. The acceleration, now you got to be careful. With the acceleration, it's 1.25 meters per second squared but is in it is in the negative direction it's slowing the object down so as it's moving to the right the object is slowing down which means the acceleration has to be to the left meaning negative all right so those two negatives are actually going to cancel you get 1.4 times 1.25 and that gives you 1.75 newtons for the force of friction all right, so now that I have the force of friction and the normal force, I can use this equation, force of friction equals coefficient of friction times normal force. All right, so we plug in our force of friction, which is 1.75. We plug in, plug in our normal force, which is 13.72. Uh, and then we go ahead and divide both sides by 13.72 to isolate my variable, which is coefficient of friction. And we get that my coefficient of friction is going to be 0 0.128. No units go with that, and there's no direction with the coefficient of friction, so it's going to be positive.